Hey friends, Amanda here, Bare Bones Living. Welcome back to my garden. Um, I thought I would just do a quick video here on buying uh, plant starts from the store. Um, as I had mentioned in my May garden update, I had a problem with my plug tray. And you can see the plug trays that I was using right back here. And the issue that I had was that these plug trays don't fit in the bottom trays um, exactly flat. So the middle of them got really swampy and overwatered, and then the ones up on the edge dried out. And so I was having problems with, here, I might be able to actually pick this one up and show you guys. All right. So I don't know if you guys can see this, but it is kind of bowed in the middle. And there's a lot of standing water in the middle. And then the top here where my thumbs are is totally dried out. So I had an issue with germination and I didn't get any peppers to germinate. Um, I actually just looked this morning and I do have one pepper that came up, but it's gonna be way behind everything else. So I wanted to go and get at least a jalapeno pepper because I make a lot of salsa and I can a lot of salsa and I still have a ton of peppers from last year's harvest, so that was really the only thing that I absolutely needed to get. But you know that when you go for one plant, you end up with six. Or in my case, I ended up with 12, and that's what I wanna to talk to you guys about. Um, so there's nothing wrong with going and picking up started plants from a store. I totally understand that everyone has the equipment or feels comfortable starting their own seeds. But a tip that I have is that if you are going to be buying from a box store, to buy plants that have two plants in them. So every uh, cup that I bought had two plants in it. So for the price of one plant, I got two, and I'm just gonna separate these out. Um, and this is a Husky Cherry Red. It's a hybrid cherry tomato. And it, they called it a dwarf indeterminate. So I don't, I don't know what that means exactly. Um, an indeterminate means that it continues to grow, but then a dwarf means that it stays small. So that sounds like an oxymoron to me. Um, but I decided I didn't have any of my cherry tomatoes uh, germinate either. So I wanted a cherry tomato variety and I figured I would try a dwarf indeterminate. So I'm going to have two of those. Um, this is a celebrity hybrid tomato and this is a determinant. And I got two of those. Um, and then I just wanted to try a Cherokee Purple, which is definitely not a determinant. That is definitely an indeterminant, but I have wanted to try the Cherokee Purple for a while, and I didn't want to go... I, I didn't buy any Cherokee Purple uh, seeds, so I figured I might as well get a started plant and again there are two tomatoes tomato plants in here that I will separate and tease apart the roots and have two plants where I could have just had one and so it's really uh, cost efficient um, and this happens a lot with like the big box companies like Bonnie plants and stuff like that they don't always pull all the starts apart and you get a bonus plant. So all my tomatoes 
have two in them. This, I was really surprised to see this as a Bonnie start, and I was really surprised to see it up here, but um, they were selling pineapple ground cherries, and I've never seen that up here. I've never seen it in the big box stores, um, and I had ground cherries in my planted in my uh, pollinator garden, but I haven't seen... You know, and everyone says that once you plant ground cherries, you'll have them for the rest of your life. I haven't seen anything, any volunteers, because they, these fall to the ground and then they come back up as volunteers. I have not seen any volunteers so far. So, and I ran out of ground cherry seeds. So, I picked this up and again, it has two plants in it. So, I'm excited about that. Then I also bought a thyme plant because my thyme, like I showed you guys, was struggling so hard and I used so much thyme. So I'm just going to pop this into my, the cell uh, on my leaf green stalk that didn't germinate spinach. I'm just going to pop this in there and then I can bring it with me and we can start harvesting fresh thyme. And then what I went there for, which was a jalapeno, I got that and this was the only, this was the only one that I didn't get a double of. I could not find a jalapeno that had two in it and that'll happen. Um, but I'm actually going to transplant this and top it uh, so that it becomes bigger and bushier. And the, the pepper that germinated finally in my cell tray was an early jalapeno, so I will have two jalapeno plants. Um, and then this is a poblano pepper. And there are actually two in here. One is smaller than the other. So I'll have two poblano plants. Um, so I'm going to get these potted up and put in there either pots or green stock or whatever. But I just wanted to give you guys that quick tip to when you're, if you're, if you're going to pay money for a started plant, you might as well get the biggest bang for your buck. So look for multiple plants, like basil is another one that there, there will be multiple, lots and lots of starts in one uh, cup of plants. So get the most for your money, and I hope you guys like that tip, hope you can, you know, can put that to good use, and I will catch you on the next one. Thank you guys for stopping by today and joining in on our journey here at Bourbon's Living. We'll catch you on the next one.